I'm just uh, doing some edits while things load. I wonder if you made the right choices last time. Let's see what you'll do today. Remember, you decide the fate of your characters. All of them can die. <laughs> yeah, we so, know that. Be careful. Wait. Mm -hmm. are, are you sure you should continue? Maybe... Maybe we should leave things as they are. Don't you undertale me. Huh. As you wish. I'm gonna have fun googling and TV tropesing the shit out of this game when we beat it. Things like that make you wonder. What's with the yet further YouTube comment? They keep getting them every two minutes. <laughs> no, I like I like I like that comment. And another one just came in. Fuck off. <clears throat> I hope it's cool that we murdered a cop in your house, Rose. We had to do it. It was a Friday, you see, and, um... Yeah. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah. Be all right. We're almost there. I like that the game, when I'm looking around, the game doesn't make her head go like a fucking exorcist doll. Hello, East Grimoire, welcome to stream! I love the ever loving fuck out of it! And from what I'm gathering from non spoilery how many chapters there are, uh, sort of listings, we are pretty close to the end. Gonna beat the shit out of it, might replay it straight away again. I am undekidded, and we can't seem to do much else here. I turned radio on. Can't talk to Alice, can't talk to Rose. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. All of them. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts... How are you doing, Isgrimor? Sorry, I forgot. Getting involved already. Most worrying of all, Immersed. Our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? It's a lot. Definitely worth it to get all the different type of endings. I don't know, I don't really give a shit about, like, 58,000 endings and farming them. But I want the golden ending. Uh, I want to at least make sure everyone gets out of it alive. You know, have the foresight of, of knowing what leads to what, and, um things I could do better. Like, Connor died once. That was beneficial to the story, but not... Yeah, I don't know. I might leave that one in. I'm not sure, but Luther... Uh, I ended up accidentally killing Luther because the game did a dickhead and didn't tell me so I should do something that an adult man should have fucking known his own to do. I say this, but it's an android. Well, you know. They have common sense. A little further on that way... There's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He oh will boy. help you. Oh the boy. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. Uh, I'll be safer on the other side. There's a lot of convergence happening. Kara's gonna go to Jericho. It's not much, but it's a start. Kara, I mean. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, alright? And be careful.
So Kara's going to Jericho, Connor's going to Jericho, and Marcus is Jericho. I have an exceptionally bad feeling about this. Well, like, there are some endings that are super similar, but I personally think it's nice to get all the drastically different ones. Eh? Eh? I mean, if you can replay the chapter where you can alter what ending you get, like, you don't have to begin from the beginning, you can do, I don't know, chapter 11 or whatever the fuck. That's fine. Only replaying the game because I'm personally interested in the golden ending, and my viewers are um, really supportive. Uh, they they like this. Duck's restaurant. Quack. Oh, hey, Veta. That's the name of the company that had a logo on the jacket that Marcus st stole from a dead guy once once he repaired himself from being shot at the. Did after Carl thing. God, English. Hi, hey, Connor, you're looking urban. You don't need to start from the beginning, you need to play it from where it branches off completely. Ah. Big fuck off ship. I just want, I just want this to be a stalker level. Does that make sense? It looks like such a perfect stalker level. Three minutes to run from one end to the other. God, vested with fucking, you know, whatever, whatever you can call that's in stalker. Uh, so yeah, I'm terrified about what's gonna happen. Too many protagonists in one place. Oh yeah, sorry. I I thought there was this cutscene still. There are androids all over the square. They're conducting raids across the city. Androids are hanging all along the road. They're only machines with the invention and dialogue. Just people. We're people who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis. Find a what? Maybe display my goddamn objectives better, please? Thank you. Barrel. I'll have a barrel of laughs, anyway. That's definitely what this game's about. Barrel laughs. Fuck me for using my brain. What else counts as a warm space? On fire barrel would um, probably have been the sensible option. Not that, not that. Came in there, didn't I? I have no clue. Yeah, we did. I get no? Okay, well, I was gonna say that's about the only other thing I could have done. You talk, no? No talk to big guy. Okay, that's a thing. Sorry. Game was being a bit obtuse there. Also, goddammit. Black scratcher. Oh, that's a good sign! That's a flu, honey! I had that. It was a fucking nightmare. I hallucinated that tiny tribesmen were poking me with millions of spears to explain the numbness and the pain. Don't want that again in my life. I'll try to find this, Marcus. The last bus leaves in two hours and it's on the other side of town. We'll go as soon as we have passports. 
Will you be okay? Hmm. Oh my god, not you again. Seriously. Oh! Boy, this is gonna go one of two ways. Heart rate maxed. Good job. I see your numbers going up. Don't catch anyone's attention. Um, hey, I'm looking for the one in charge. Totally not trying to assassinate him, but where is them? Is them is. Uh, this gun is for paintball. It makes people red. It's fine. Perfect. That, why would why why would you rig your own base to blow up oh maybe you don't want to be taken alive if they're doing that with the androids I cannot even fault that logic seriously very jellyfish face where are you I saw you in the cutscene what L1 okay well that's plot blocked That's a girl! Yup! Uh, yup! It's a girl. Lemon Penny, hello! Nothing! I started um, a couple of minutes ago. We did the cutscene to get in here and. You're lost. That's about it. Hi! Not your face, that's for sure. You're looking for yourself. <sighs> we need to turn corner. That much is super evident. I hope that over the course of the game, I corrupted his programming enough for him to be able to go deviant. Not quite sure what the deal with Amanda is still. Watch this. Did it freak out for a second for you guys as well? Oh, Marcus. Are you Marcus? So that's two of them met. I'm with a little girl. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. Sounds like no Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them. To Meg Kansas. Griffin's voice actor. I'm so sorry. I know her name. I just forgot. Stay here a while. Mila Kunis. So, Maybe you're right. Is it Mila Kunis? You might be safer here until things calm down. I don't think she can emote that well. To work no offense. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Oh gosh, nice numbers. Hello everyone, welcome to chat. She needs me. Then I need her. Mm. It's as simple as that. Well, it's a good answer. I think Marcus is going through some shit of his own. He's, um... Really looks like he's trying to decide something there. They're going to kill us all. Managed to get him not killed. Oh yeah, we, we had that. Is it not not this way, am I meant? Where am I? Oh, you go back to Alice. Connor was going up some stairs somewhere. It. Oh. Oh <laughs> well. I went the wrong way. 
confronted with a similar crisis among its own asteroids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third... Connor did not see us earlier, so he should not know that we're the deviant that ran away with Alice. As far as I know, he never even investigated Todd. I know it. What? Wanted a mom. I still knew it. You wanted a little girl. But this. You needed each other to survive. In the end, what difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Forgetting who we are to become what someone needs us to be. That's strange. That's a strangely good message. She loves you. From David Cage. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the one you wanted her to be. Out of love for you. Wow! Where are we, um... Yeah, so... What a shiver down my back! <laughs> hey! Um... I called it halfway through. But... Nothing at all. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? That's a bit disturbing, though. Yes. Forever. Inches away from the finish line. What's what's gonna happen? We're Marcus now. We're short on blue blood. Excuse me for the brief pause. I actually had to ask someone who's played the game how Simon randomly fucking comes back. The explanation is really fucking dumb. They just didn't see him! After an attack on a radio station with SWAT f f mere feet away from where the fucking terrorists were, they didn't see him. And so he just kind of... Wh what? Left? And fixed himself in case... You know, that's, 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 a, that's, a, that's a bit... But, like, yeah, Simon isn't actually bugged or dangerous or whatever, as far as I can tell. I, 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 when, when he just came back casually in a cutscene, I thought, The fuck are you doing here, motherfucker? Go and die. Hello, Venus. Thank you for um, visiting tonight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Android mother and daughter. Damn right. Components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing... Kara is a motherboard. ...threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? Conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. Oh, that it's sounds disaster. familiar. They're slaughtering our people. That sounds familiar. It's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. <laughs> the only thing we asked for was freedom. And they don't even want to hear that. Thank you, hon. So now they punish us for who we are. <laughs> I didn't. What's the point of being free? Want to pick the if bigger no option. One left alive. I thought Sombra was just kind of coming around to things melancholy sort of way. He 
humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? North? Dialogue seems like a good choice. Stay in hiding, get hunted down. Confront them, get murdered. So. Dialogue is the only way. Yeah, yeah, North, fuck the shut up. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Probably. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. That was weird. How much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. Uh, two for one at Papa John's Pizza. I, I, I don't think we have that in the UK, by the way. Not sponsored by anyone. They've been butchering each other for centuries under the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. Uh, no Not comment. Change. <laughs> Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. And a boner. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. How weird. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. Excuse me! I convinced him not to do it. Ah. To give me the detonator. That's worse. A dirty ball. Ah, that's we the... can't lose this war, Marcus. Yay! 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 If yay. humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. What by... Mm. shouldn't become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other people. I wanted to keep it just to take it away from her. Because honestly, right. I'm expecting her to fucking use it. She's keeping it. Great. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... And I'm an insufferable bitch. I know, honey. Sit I'm down. I met you. Oh god, hello Lemon Penny 2 bits. Thank you, my friend. Uh, I was looking at the screen, still scared the shit out of me. Thank you for the honey coffee. Ah, oh, thank you. And fine, throw her a bone. <laughs> giggity, giggity, more than one, am I right? Um. Oh, baby, interface with my USB port. Um. Oh, it's weird. I was about to start streaming myself, but as soon as I saw you going out, I shut everything down. Dude, thank you. Don't neglect yourself, though. Ah. Uh. Look after yourself. There's a very high chance that as soon as I beat the game, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna restart the shit out of it, and play as fast as hard as I can to recreate the golden ending. Duh. Yeah. I was told that there was a cop straight in the beginning I could have saved that would have shown up later, for instance. Uh... Ooh. Boy. Well done, Connor. Amanda's barely neutral. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. That Kamsky guy who invented Android said that there's an exit, or exit code somewhere. I wonder if that refers to... Oh, boy, boy. Boy, that's gonna be good. To that whole order to take you alive. Amanda thing, which I'm guessing is a, a superior Android programmed into the subroutine. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. <sighs> That no, Marcus. One of us. Do not advance. You can't betray your own people. Hmm. 
You're coming with me. Oh, fuck me sideways. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom too. Uh. You don't have to be their slave anymore. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. Mm. But you're more than that. I know Connor's good. We're all more than that. Have you never wondered who you really are? The other two were slightly manipulative. I'm not like so that. You're just a machine executing a program. And in this situation, um, a living being, capable you know. of reason. <laughs> I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Definitely rally. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Thank fuck. Mr. Gorbachev, punch the shit out of this 8-bit wall. It's resisting. Oh dear, oh dear, some things in there. Oh. He's awake. <laughs> Fuck Amanda! Dead fucking AI piece of shit. Jericho. What? What we want? Ah! Uh... Okay, bye. <laughs> out. We have to get out of here. <laughs> Mid, let no. Let's have a candy apple first, you midget. Don't know what those emoticons mean, but I uh, yet. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, all three of you need to get, get out of here. shit out of there right now. Also, explode! Oh, the explosives! Oh no, shit! Well, one side is gonna get royally brutalized. So German, you have no idea how German you look, dude. Run away from there. Got it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Not that way. Wow, thanks for that, dude. I have more common sense than to stop pressing forward. Trust me. Ah, uh, this is suboptimal. They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hole. They're gonna be slaughtered. Piss fuck shit. 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 Mm. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. <sighs> we have to blow up Jericho. They'll do it for you if you don't. goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. I'm trying.
suboptimal. Motherfucker, go! Shit! Stop alternating inputs like that, you twat! Thank fuck nobody has peripheral vision in this fucking universe! Motherfuckers! I don't know if it's safe. Two analog stick fucking input. Well, an analog stick input that looks like the fucking joystick input. Joystick controller. Marcus. Oh, my 9093. Go now. Hurry. <clears throat> ah, my little heart's beating out the shit in my chest. Oh, go, you twat. Also, the screen keeps doing a thing. I might have to look at that. Gamma squad out. Dango. Mail. Marcus, Marcus, <laughs> go now. Join the others. You got Donald Ducked, motherfucker. How's that for your SWAT training? Didn't expect them. You piece of shit. Run the fucking hell, run the fucking, run the shitting, fucking shitting. Oh boy. Uh, oh boy, um... Get down! Did he think they're dead, or did he see that she was badly moving her eyes and figured out that if they're smart enough to play dead? I think we're good. 
It's a little bit dubious at this point. <laughs> Quick, we gotta go. <sighs> That's a lot of empty space. Oh shit. Well, double shit. These are very tight windows to input these. Still don't know why they would rig Jericho to explode. Bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Oh shit. Okay, I didn't expect them to make me do this part too. I'm pretty sure if you become a drooling retard right here, you can fail and die. Excuse me. It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run. Failed. Over there. Run. Shame about uh, getting injured, though. I fucked that up. These are incredibly tight fucking quick time event button presses. I have no idea how hard these are. Shit. Did you see that last one? Still better than Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6. I mean, the quick time events there were just fucking unreasonable. Although this is pretty close! Right, so... As far as I know, everyone made it out alive, and Marcus is just injured. They detonated an explosive in the hole. You think? The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's it over, Marcus? Shut the fuck up and go back to Germany. Good. Oktoberfest, motherfucker. <laughs> That's really, really, really fucking hard. Lord Christ tits Jesus! I didn't lose anyone, and I am fucking proud of that. Hell, uh, I could have lost Simon, I could have lost Josh, I could have lost North, I could have lost Connor, so you know what? I didn't let anyone die much harder than I thought. So, yeah! <laughs> oh, dear God, I want to die. Can my heart calm down, please? Shit. Ooh. No? I thought that was Connor's mind palace thing with Amanda. Hello, Kaiser dude. Hello. Welcome to stream. I don't. Oh, boy. Uh, this is going to be either wonderful or... Oh god, that's already making me tear up a bit. Carl mentioned his um, incoming mortality earlier. So I'm not actually expecting to see him alive. Or at least not for very long. How are you doing, Alakaiser? Oh, you're not dead. They told me that you stayed with me while I was asleep. That's a shame. I, uh, I'm really sorry about everything that happened. I bet. Piece of shit. I'm gonna stop all that shit. Uh, 
messes me up. It, it turns me into somebody I hate. Yeah, I hate you too. You prick. Yeah, I'd like to come by and, and see you tomorrow. That's right, dude. I just want to let you know. I'm, I'm proud of you, your son. Hey, that's an emoticon. I'm pretty okay. We're going to beat the shit out of this today. I might jump straight to um, rebeating it. Might quickly pull a game out of my ass to play. Dead Cells is uh, Dead Cells is a thing. It's really crazy fucking good. Dead Cells. Oh my god. Oh, so good. I managed to cheese the first boss the second time I met him, and the first time I met him, I got him down to five percent, which is before you get anything decent unlocked. So you're made of fucking paper and do the damage of a wet fart. So uh, yeah. oh, hey, I went for old time's sake, buddy. Was that part of the main theme? <laughs> it's what we painted. This is our painting. Where? Where's Carl? Hmm. Dead Cells does seem fun. It... Mm. I can do some Dead Cells, um, show off how the gameplay is, if that would help. It's... Regular enemies verge from lol that's adorable to holy crap, leave me the fuck alone, you annoying piece of shit. Uh, bosses, the first one I encountered is a complete and utter bitch. Mountains of health, very slow, does no damage. And then all those change when you uh, start beating him into the ground. He becomes ridiculously fast and hurts a lot. To the point where there is not a humanly possible reaction time. To, to process the shit he's throwing at you. Where's Carl then? Where's the st Oh, I'm idiot. The stairs. Sorry guys. Burr. That door opened, I thought that must be it. Because uh, nothing else is opening. Now, was that there the last time? Huh. Who are you? How did you get in? Oh no. I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Well. On first blush, this might mean Marcus was replaced, but no, the alarm was deactivated for Marcus. Carl hoped that Marcus would be back. That's what I choose Please. to believe. I need to it, see him. Metroidvania is correct. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Ah, Carl. You, this Carl and the one from Up are the only Carls I have ever known that aren't complete shitbags. Although there might be one more I'm forgetting. Oh yes, local supermarket has a Carl that's a very nice guy. But other than that... Carl. Marcus. I was hoping you'd come. Yeah, the alarm. I missed you so much, Carl. Well, have you made me you proud or...? Thanks, dude. Thanks for the lurk. whole world's falling apart around me. I try to do the right thing. I look for answers. I... Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. That sounds like a teenager. Once Not even joking. I fear, Marcus. <clears throat> fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. That's a that's a thing. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. You have a good evening if you're if you don't come back tonight, dude. Thank you. Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me. What choice do they give? Being alive is making choices. Between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. 
I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is. <clears throat> or fight to change it. Mm. I am the second type. It's not going well, by the way, but... <laughs> You're my son, Marcus. Aww. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. It's definitely the spirit. When the world falls <clears throat> into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. Mm -hmm. You're one of those men. I don't like the implications here. Face the abyss. That's very good hinting. I might be being too loud again, sorry. I'm getting emotional now. What I got from that was deal with what you can. <clears throat> I'm in the dark. The sound is low because my family is sleeping. My lovely cat makes some unexpected noise and it scares the poop out of me. Well, what an exciting life I have, am I right? Cats... Cat's only purpose is to be a dick to their owners. The exceptions are wonderful, but uh, you should, my it, my life isn't terrible. But it's I'm I'm also not skydiving every two days, which would be nice. Don't worry about it. Basically, Lemon Penny, thank you for the two bits. Hey, so if you're playing this again, you might as well go crazy with the choices. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Replaying the game the exact same way might be funky, though. Like, what would the point of that be? That's what I'm trying to decide. Because, like, I want it to be a golden ending. I want it to not be fucked. I don't want Luther to fucking die. For one thing. I can see why maybe... Connor dying wants to really befriend the shit out of Hank is, um, is a good outcome. Simon says... Are people accounting on you, Marcus? You're nope. the only one who can lead us. No pressure. Wherever you need to go... We'll follow you. Well, it's good to know I have his faith, anyway. Oh, thank you for that. <clears throat> I had to stop for a second, I thought... Oh, right, yes! Lesb lesboids, where... Oh, yeah, the relativity of the back. That one's Josh. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. <sighs> Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Little icebreaker before even more heavy shit happens, I played some Smash with the wife today, which is notable in that I absolutely hated the ever-loving fuck out of Smash until recently. It's fun. It's my fault. I've, I've humans managed to locate Jericho. I've converted. I was stupid. Rick does a good character, goddammit. <laughs> I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. We're beyond that, dude. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. Thank you for the one bit, pen Le Lemon Penny. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Oh, also. 
Connor, that's suicide. Oh, hey, it's not working. They trust me. There we go. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. Hmm. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Is Hank gonna save your ass? Be careful. <clears throat> so I said the Tracy's in the back. I am completely blind because I cannot see shit. I'm looking for them in their sex worker outfit, which might be my um my problem. That's Cara and Alice. Don't even get near them. Yet. Nope. Oh, hello. Who the fuck are you? Oh, North. What's your system status? I'm okay. That's a cute way of asking how you are. No, I'm gonna adopt that. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. I know you have to think of our people first. Yeah, well. Nothing else matters. They say they don't want to take any risks with the deviants. Sad fact. If you choose so don't trust, Marcus shoots and kills Connor. What, just there? For extermination. Just like that! Shit. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. Good job. Good job. Good. Fair. How many of us survived the attack? Fucking hell. A few hundred? Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. This is uh, this is a very well done scene. You can feel the fear and the uncertainty just going across everyone. It's really well fucking done. Uh, and traces are back of the bench where Simon sits. You can see them but can't interact with them. Okay. Wait, yeah, that works. Simon was somewhere. I see them. Okay. Sorry about the random, like, lip smacking every two goddamn seconds. Um, sticky mouth coffee. It's my excuse. Hey, hey! It's Legolas from the Gore Lord of the Gl Horton. Hmm. Um, nope, yeah, no, Alice. So Marcus just got wounded, but he already looks fine. With us. Thank fuck. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Yeah. <sighs> After what Marcus is gonna do, I you don't need to go like, to Canada, I don't think. <sighs> Save our people. God damn, Cara. One thing I'll fix when I replay the game is I will murder the shit out of Todd. Yeah. Oh. Why did I make that noise? Jesus Christ. Anyway, um, y yeah. So we how the where? Is there a podium kind of thing? There is a. There's that. Humans have decided. To exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. 
One that very well may determine the future of our people. Mm. See, in context, liberating the androids would be a really good idea, but not if it comes with the word assault. That's a kind of I know. a no. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. North, that I was waiting there for that. If there's humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? God damn. Good. Lemon Penny with the one viewer. Thank you, my friend, for the host. Scared the shit out of me, obviously. <laughs> I might change that noise to something a bit more comical. You're more comical and less. Uh, so, I'm really glad that um, Connor didn't get shot in the face. Based off a decision. <laughs> What's with all these other outcomes? Interesting. Uh, confide in Carl. Who's Carl? Who's Carl? Who's Carl? Ah, yes. Could have done some more things around the house that I missed. Where's the part about Hi Connor? Uh, Marcus on Sacred Ground. Deviants talk to North. Simon Connor. Oh, spare Connor. How did it when you put it like that? Yes. Yeah. Fuck. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement <clears throat> will be strictly controlled. You look like Hillary Clinton. The right to assembly oh, is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. North wants to kill every human she sees. Not she needs to understand that not every human is the same. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant Example, the one and only Carl. Yep, 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 yep. Yet, I agree. We will soon track it down and neutralize it. They tried to make it with her backstory, but, like... No? Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems? It's not a good like excuse. Like power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. So we're playing this random government woman. That's interesting. Because as far as I know, we have never not played an android. The situation is under control. Madam President! Please. Thank you for the two bits, Lemon Penny. So, so two things that Hillary Clinton and I just figured out the hosting thing, because I love your channel and your sense of humor. Keep up the good work. And the extra bit. Thank you, man. Thank you for... I'm glad that I can bring entertainment to someone. That's nice, and that's why I do streaming. Thank you, dude. I'm not stopping. I'm going to stream till the day I die. Madam President! Daily. Hopefully daily. Madam President! Madam President, I'm curious about public, public opinion. opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. Yeah, fuck what the people want. It's not like we have democracy or anything. <laughs> By the way, English is not my first language. If you can't understand some of the things I say, I'm sorry about that. I love English, though. It's... Don't worry about it. Um, first of all, you're fine. Second of all, English is not my language either. It's Hungarian, unfortunately. And see, if you want, I can always help you um, in, in 
private messages and stuff, um, you can contact me on Twitter or email or Discord or uh, on Twitch, you know, whatever, if you These need Indians any help with that. And my highest priority is to protect the American... <coughs> Madam President! Blech. Please? Please? Recall centers. Some say these camps awaken painful memories from human history. <laughs> hmm. That's absurd. There's absolutely no connection. Mm -hmm. Androids are not living beings. All we are doing is destroying defective machines. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I could say something here, but I'm trying. I really. I do. I keep politics out of my shit as hard as I can. I could have said a few things back there. <laughs> Ah, okay. Wow. Uh, hmm. So the entire game seems to unfold over the five or six days. Plus maybe some sort of um, prologue. I, I, I feel like there was a two month before the first date sort of thing, but I can't actually remember. Sorry. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. So here's the problem. We betrayed Amanda. Go ahead. She knows this. There's gonna be a showdown there, and this might in fact be a trap for Connor. Gee, if the company name wasn't on the barricades, we wouldn't know whose barricade this is. Oh hey, a penis! You pierced that nice night sky, my friend. And a bunch of boobs. This is great. Oh, look how erect it is. Oh my god, I'm just gonna stop there. That's, that's, I could keep going with this, but like... And yes, I am Im immature enough to do dick jokes like that. <laughs> oh... My favorite people are the ones in real life when it's when it's summer and you very reasonably take your shirt off uh, and they go, Oh my! His shirt is off! No! I don't like the body parts that we're all born with! Oh. Hello, what? Hi, further. Thank you for the two bits, Lemon Penny. I uh, Hard while they were d developing this, they really wanted Hillary to win, but the game was too close to fix it. For me, we'll escort you. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe. I mean, are we sure? Because, like, and I'm not going to directly address politics, but as far as I know, you know, the election concluded in 2016 or something, and this game came out 20, 2018, like, May. They had a good year, if not a year and a half, to fix that, and altering simple audio and model files, maximum of two months it should have taken them. And that's, like, if they were tremendously bad at it. But I have my orders. So, eh, doesn't make sense. <laughs> Sorry. It might just be a coincidence. Um, it's like with um, creative works. You, you recognize a few tropes and cliches even though you hope something's nice because you're probably old enough to have watched a bunch of shit, read a bunch of shit, and um, we're running out of your original ideas. So you will unavoidably run into things that are familiar and um, I guess the same that go the same goes for things like voices and faces and I mean I have a face like a sick dog but yeah reminds me of a nice story actually I've read about uh, someone got lost I, I don't know how they did it but they got lost from their family and like a decade later they interview one of the family members on the street. Oh, you know, where's your, I don't know, daughter. Let's say daughter. I don't know if that's daughter, but where's your daughter now? What do you want to tell her? Da, da, da. And suddenly in the background of this random fucking interview, the daughter's just going by. Just it, 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 the fucking coincidence of a lifetime. What is? Just sharing what I heard. It's, thank you. <clears throat> Oh, we can move Connor now. I thought we were locked into a cutscene. Why are there random display androids? What... What purpose does that serve? They're not cleaning. They're not... Uh, 
There's something horribly unnatural about that. Why would you just have AC them there? 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Level 31, have you switched classes yet? Okay, that's not... The one next to the panel, I can maybe shut down the panel, but I don't know which one of these would be more... Okay, so the gun's red. I can maybe force the right guy to not be retarded by using the gun. So let's try going this way first. Connor makes a move. And then what? There will be the guy who has drawn a gun by that point, unless I kick him in the balls. Well, in one scenario, the gun's out. That's gonna be too close to co for comfort, and also if he even ever goes off, that's probably gonna be enough noise to alert people. After you finish the game, can you watch some of the different endings, maybe theories? I would love to do that, yes, I will research the absolute ever-loving minute fuck out of this game. And in fact, I would urge everyone to go to the website I'm typing up. Uh, put it in, and uh, read the main tab. The, the just, 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 you know, not characters, not awesome, not funny, just the main tag. It should say video game Detroit, and the, your mileage may vary, the YMMV, um, subheader, because that, there's where the, the first one is objectively what's in the game, and the second one is what people think of the things in game. So we kick the guy in the nuts while holding the first guy. Go for it. <laughs> Give me a mashing prompt, I will never fail it. That's not a humanly possible way. Why did you- why did I fail that- Quick tap, that's weird. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. That's a neat feature. <clears throat> I do wonder if we should have used our our own voice. Cause like the guy may be monitored for his life signs. Paranoia is good. Oh, yes. oh gosh. Give us much time. We've got to Thank you for the new follow. Mia madre doveva abortire. I. Please tell me I didn't kill your name. Fast. Oh crap. That's a long fucking time limit. What is going to happen? Are you alright? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. Well, since you're an android, that's even more worrying. I'm gonna leave that on. I have a feeling that that might save her. Detecting the temperature might save her. Because um, this is gonna be weirdly serious for my stream, but there are people out there who do not feel certain things in their fingertips, in their arms, in their bodies. You know, some people just don't feel pain. Now that sounds cool. You, you think, oh, I can just go to the dentist and not just shit everywhere because I'm afraid and in pain. Well, you don't feel pain when you break your leg. You'll just kind of detect yourself sinking 10 inches lower and then go, Oh, that's fine. And then you'll try to keep walking with your leg not good and damage yourself further. Some people, as you have correctly guessed, have no sense of temperature. Which is terrifying. Let's not stay here. How do you, how do, you do that? Like, the cat... Oh, but... We need. No, please don't hurt me. You're on your knees. We need to take the gun because we're protecting Alice. We're not Marcus, who has a what are we gonna do? big agenda of leadership. We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. We're going to make it, Alice. I promise you. Mm-hmm. Don't kill me! I didn't do 
I can't see where the other guy's looking. I'm gonna fuck this up so hard, you guys. Come on, get moving. I think that's way too close still. That'll work. Hurry up, get in. Oh, my heart rate. Don't die two fucking inches from the finish line, you two, please. I'm with. Sorry. Sorry, Alice. I'm with Cora on this one. I'm sorry, Alice. There's nothing we can do. Okay, that scared me a little bit. Expecting me, and we're going to order to check all civilians. Where's the next go point? No, no, please. Oh, shit. Fucking androids. I know, right? I prefer Apple. I don't actually, don't even remote. I'm not gonna joke about that ever again. The only thing I prefer for Apple is to be bankrupt. Let's veer away from that, shall we? Oh god, hello, Lemon Penny cheered. Oh, that's a load of text. Hold the fuck up. So only the reason Cara didn't know Alice was an android is because her hair was covering up her thing. However, that shouldn't make sense. Think about it. When they were running from the shot, gun, Cara should have saw the circle thing on the side of her head, so it just made her car fucking blind. It might have been camouflaged. It might have been, because they're kitty androids, um... It might be that... It would be creepy to think of you having a, an android kid that the... LED ring is there, but like camouflaged or optionally camouflaged like how you can overclock a computer If you buy a new um, certain places if you buy a new CPU or a new computer uh, They'll ask you do you want this shit sped up and you can say yes, or you can leave it at stock. It's kind of like that, but for Comfort I guess <clears throat> I am so close with these two that I'm very happy to sacrifice the Jerry's to get them to where they need to go. Alice, you stupid fuck. For bonus points, that was very close as well. Of course, we're still being looked at to very carefully time my go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did the other one turn back or no? Motherfucker. That's close. Quick time event, probably. Ah, oh, fuck the save. No? I don't trust this. Cha, Venus Green's going. How the heck did they not see Car? Her head was like, hey, hey, you can kill me if you want. You take the key too. <laughs> Bill Cosby for some reason. <laughs> He's not like that. Was Bill Cosby, Mickey Mouse. What the fuck are you doing? That was so close. I'm gonna pee myself. Like, yeah, guess what? I'm, I'm the, I'm the one that's at fault if they die. 
I could bottle my heart as a caffeine thing right now. Why you two leave me alone? We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Is there another way? We could take a detour, but we might miss the bus. Maybe it's better to be safe. Well, fuck. We should have enough time because I didn't fuck around. Well, the soldiers might go, lol, we killed you for fun. <laughs> uh, mm. Th uh, thank you for the one bit lemon penny. I don't get those black and yellow vegetables. Are they ca ca What? Are they cabs or public transportation? Black and yellow vegetables. I don't... I don't know myself. The detour? It's weird that the detour is only about twice as long as the three minute one, but it takes longer to do. Night... Uh, we have 13 minutes, so I'm pretty sure the detour is gonna be fine. It's just... One of these is very, very, very bad, and I can't tell which. I'm holding this because it t time doesn't tick down while I do that. <sighs> this is a tough one. Passports, but oh no. Ha <laughs> ha No! No, we learned that we can't go that way. They scanned the guy with some shit and they found out he's an android the second that shit hit him. We're going to Safeway. This is not product placement. There's a thing called Safeway somewhere, I'm sure. Because I've heard of it. If you don't want to miss your bus, maybe you should run. We're coming to you live from Detroit where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this <clears throat> very moment. Oh boy. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. <sighs> Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. You are so an android. Lol Safeway is a bootleg Walmart. <laughs> Even Walmart's a bit bootleg ne next to places like Amazon. And now I can't stop wondering which one of those employs more people. Do they have Walmart in the UK? No, but we have a shop that... We have a chain of stores called... Um, it's either Asda or Aldi, and one of those is owned by Walmart, and I genuinely keep confusing the two. It's been five years, and I still keep confusing the two. There's so little difference between them. Uh, now, what, I think Asda is like a, a shit store with shitty goods that have shitty quality, so that's probably the Walmart one. If we're Here being we honest. Are. I don't know, though. I don't know Holy for sure. Truth. Yeah, don't take my word for it, because I'm being a lot of head. The photographers clue me in that this is going to be huge, and uh... We don't want confrontation! Don't fuck it up. We are protesting peacefully. <clears throat> I miss what? that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free.
Oh, I didn't realize. Sorry, it was me. Sorry, guys. Cinematic camera did not make it clear. Fire! What rationale do you have to shoot people with no way of defending themselves? What is the rationale here? Oh, he got a few bullets too. Fuck. Look at our hands and the nothing in them. We cannot harm you. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Something's going on. Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away, and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Having that bit of media coverage there means the police will be reluctant to use force. Station. <clears throat> That's gonna be a problem, co oh, okay. shit. Yeah, I didn't see that. Let's work our way in to work from the side. Oh! <laughs> Sorry about the Looney Tunes laugh, it's just, it was a Looney Tunes moment, you have to admit. Okay, I, I see why he had to do it. Wait a minute. Wait, what is it? Marcus was the only one who has been shown to be able to convert androids. My dear Connor, what happened to you? What's the shit? What's going on? Ah, uh, there's a few of you here. Wow. Amanda? No? <laughs> right, that's an awkward button. Step back, Connor! What? And I'll spare him! Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Ah, uh, no, yeah, no, don't worry about it, Hank. What the? Oh, Amanda did threaten that we would be replaced. Shit! That's a corner that did not have our memories uploaded. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. Fuck. <clears throat> Basically, the stealth section where you can get your shit shot off is... I must have done it really well. Uh, because we had the excess time to go the safe way and avoid being shot to shit. There's a theme going around here. See if you can find it. It's not Samba. Yikes! Last bus for the border is full. Ticket only passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. You don't have tickets, they won't let us run. We're stuck. Yeah. Here now. Didn't plan for that. What are we going to do? Ow. I think Oliver likes you. You? Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Please don't move. Well, it's not important for them. They're not the ones being persecuted and, you know, potentially murdered. I feel no remorse not handing them their tickets back, if that's what that is. Look, they might... Please don't do that and terrify me again. Look, they might miss their t ticket out and, oh, boo-hoo. On the other hand, they're not gonna get shot in the head. So, you know... That's not a kid's ticket! 
please don't move. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I, I'm so sorry. I, I was sure. Shit, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Well, shit. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? Thank you for the two bits, Lemon Penny. It has our bus tickets in it and. Oh, never mind. Bollocking! Fucking bollocks! Wait a minute, Marcus isn't the only one to convert androids. For example, that random android in Kara traded info to get to Luther's own assignment. That's not a conversion. I think that was an awakened android from Jericho. Um. Any, any, any android can trade information. Um, we have used Connor in the sex club to find out where the murderous Tracy went. That was not a conversion. That was just a memory probe, info download, whatever you want to call it. But Marcus, Marcus went from having to touch androids to just going, hey, and they, they converted. At the, but so, so the prompt for Connor said, convert these androids. That's making me wonder what's going on. Now I have to deal with what the fuck I'm doing with these people, and it's fucking horrible. There's no timer, at least. No. Sorry. I thought there was no timer. I did not pick that. Sorry. I can't stay here. It's only an adult ticket. Which means... I'm so sorry, honey. I found this on the floor. It's only an adult ticket. Thank you. We couldn't have used them for we saved our lives. Alice. And we're obviously not going to leave her on her I'm own sorry, Alice. right it's now. Okay. You did the right thing. We'll find another way. <sighs> the fuck. Please don't move. I even explained it to myself in an absolutely perfect rational fucking way. Rose? No young Rose. Wow. Uh, don't go near the soldier. That's stupid. Police, maybe. I have a feeling we're on an invisible timer, though. What's... Little girl. My little... Oh, you my little girl. shit. Oh, shit. Security! Over here! Don't do this, Todd. They'll kill us if you hand us in. I would like to think that his regret in earlier you know chapters she was real. She took your daughter away. You couldn't live without her. So you bought yourself an android. A substitute little girl. You thought you could love her. That she would make you forget. But nothing could replace your child. I just wanted to prove to myself that I was a good father. Oh, you failed. She was wrong. <clears throat> but I fucked it all up all over again. She was right in the end. I didn't deserve them. I don't miss my little girl. You don't know how much I miss my little girl. That sounds bad for us. Uh, is there a problem, sir? No. I made a mistake. Sorry. Good luck. Hmm. I pulled it back.
Adam. Kara, quick! Follow me. I am suspicious. <clears throat> he is, but Alice didn't know this either. I'm guessing. It actually makes a lot of sense because she, I don't know if she thought she was a human child at any point, but she was basically unloved. She was just an android. Todd knew this. We didn't know this. Carr didn't know this, but Alice probably understands perfectly, how, you know, to be unloved, to be alone, like Todd ended up. It still doesn't make him any less of a piece of shit, but it may it, that makes sense. That's a, an interaction between androids. They can share locations. Uh, Marcus converts them to become deviant. Connor can do that too. I did not know that. Makes sense because Connor is a more advanced model, actually. Connor probably can't because she's only a four hundred. I think she's a four hundred. I don't trust Adam. There's Rose. I trust Ra 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 Ra. <gasps> Thank God. Ra, ra, ra. Oh. oh my God. Ra. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed. It's me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. I feel like I've avoided a lot of bullets just then. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? <laughs> They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Yes. Uh, you don't have any okay. other options. Okay. Climb in. Ah, this is gonna make me age so rapidly, this game. Oh, boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Motherfucker, I'm worried. <laughs> no need to follow Connor and Marcus separately because, um... Well, they're together. No, they're not! I'm a retard! <laughs> no, they I don't know why I thought they were together. I really don't know why I thought they were together. They were for 10 minutes, but like, seriously? Also, this would make a good Killing Floor 2 map. I'm sorry. It's just... We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help <clears throat> me. Hey, help me. No, I can, I can, I can mash on my own. Is it going to be a push or a mash? I think it's going to... No, okay. Oh, it's both of them. <laughs> Don't you remember? That's Connor was converting androids in the Cyberlife building till the evil Connor and Hank came in. I don't remember, it's just confusing. Well, no, that's not gonna stop them. <laughs> just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Definitely the journalists. I don't know what's gonna happen to us, but as long as the message goes through, then survive or death, we will have done something today. <clears throat> There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on.
Oh, that's ominous as fuck. Oh boy. Well, it's brewing. I get it, the game itself has so many endings and possibilities, it can be confusing, but don't worry, you'll make it out. I like making out. Stop there. Oh, blah, 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 blah. What are we gonna do if they but, attack? But, yeah, yeah. Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. Well, if he Connor, if Connor doesn't, Don't hold them for long. I guess it's better than nothing. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. Pretty sure they're not gonna do a full on massacre with the media like that. Did I make the right choices? Maybe we could have avoided all of this. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. Mm -hmm. You conquered your no shit face, Gene. Which you don't have because you're an android. <clears throat> <clears throat> Breathe, you asshole, for fuck's sake. Support your people, right? So basically, talk to Josh and get the fuck down, you stupid ass! I stopped pressing that way a minute ago. Marcus. Well, that's Marcus, that. Marcus, come look. <sighs> Tired, bloody eyes. What? Marcus. Come to talk to you, Marcus. I bet you have, you piece of shit. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. They, go. they won't. But I'm fairly it sure you will. Don't go, Marcus. I'm. I'm on arm, Marcus. I think I just want to talk. she's right, but at the same time. I need to hear what to say. <sighs> they kill you. And that's a chance I'll have to take. I don't trust this guy, but he doesn't need to have us outside, and what what, what we get by shooting us now? Just us, just here, just now. We're surrounded. He's probably gonna issue a kill order otherwise on everyone, so it's not like he stands to gain much from this. In a few minutes, troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It won't be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but... 
Nine of you will be destroyed. That will not help anyone else. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android... You seem to... really... care about her. You didn't want her to die, do you? You know, you could both be free. Mm. You could forget about all this, you could... Start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her knife's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. No deal. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Damn right. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. What did he say? The humans are about to launch an attack. <clears throat> and we will show them. Venus Green says, I hate this guy. Such a free. prick. Even Hank says itself. It's a shame that we share the same we nose, must though. Die today. That's unfortunate. And we will die free. <laughs> Hello. That looked like a stun grenade. There's hope yet. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Shit. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Shit. Are you really ready to let him die after all you've been through? Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. That's right. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? Okay, I didn't want to pause to think about things, but I needed some time for this choice. Yikes. What? Okay. All right. All right. You win. That's what I was hoping for. What the hell? He got some upgrades. Ugh. 
I pressed the correct thing, you shit! Hold it! Oh no. Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Oh no. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. Oh no. Don't make me control oh, Hank. My partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. Five. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. Unless it was the fifth bar. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. <laughs> Our role is limited to convincing Hank. Was this enough? Son, what's his name? <sighs> Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. That's the DV that that's the asshole Connor. Our Connor has been wanting to get out of Hank what happened for the longest time. He never managed to. That's the asshole Connor. Shit. They're making us play the asshole Connor. Fucking hell. Safe Hank, of course. What are you thinking about? Safe Hank. Early in the game, I told you to look at the table. You looked at it and you found the about coal. Thank you. If you didn't, Hank would have killed you. <laughs> Cool. I'm not saying this to make you thank me, but that's a huge difference. Glad you found it. No, thank you, though. I <laughs> Hank needs to live. Cole died because a human surgery was too high on red ice to operate. We were playing the asshole, Connor. <laughs> Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son, too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... <laughs> I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. <laughs> Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. <laughs> Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Oh, my little heart's in the skies now. That's wonderful. Go ahead. Do what you gotta do. And then Connor went, Hey, watch this. Oh, oh God. Yes, I shall begin my world conquest with this one. Yeah. Uh, mashing. This. Yeah. I win. Wake up. 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 That's cool. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Excuse me. Wake up. I guess higher functioning models that turn deviant are able to understand the part of their code that caused the deviation and upload them, or do they do they give over the memory of when they woke up, or I, you know, because whether or not you're ju just an android at that point or you wake, you should still have the same memories. It's the programming that changes. <coughs> Things to think about. Now it's Kara's turn to be not killed, please. I got all the good guys out so far, with Marcus stunned to shit. Hmm. About time. I'm sorry we got held up. Did anybody see you? No, no, no. I, I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. 
Don't start your engine until you're out far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck. Can I thank you about 95 more fucking times? You need infinite thank Don't yous, Rose. Nice. <sighs> it's so crazy that this little option can change a whole story. This game's too detailed, it's amazing. I, I love the shit out of this. It's not even a half mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. Oh. You take good care of yourselves. Okay, I'll see you on the other side. <clears throat> story given dri story driven games like this are my absolute favorite I think story driven and or cinematic there is a lot of space to get a powerful story out with those let me help you and backwards people like dice who try to go for the photorealism of every fucking minute every two fucking minutes and waste money and development time doing so Nothing they will ever make will come as fucking close to enjoyable as this. It's just gra it's just graphics. Anyone can do fucking graphics. But things like this that give you the feelies, that's actually fucking special. Even if what they do is technically impressive in certain instances. Wait, where is Luther? He's supposed to be here. Yeah, the game did an asshole on me and didn't tell me that I could tell them to go upstairs or something. So, Luther got found and sacrificed himself. Which is why I want to replay the game with the golden ending. But functionally, I might, I might leave it or I might do that off stream because, you know, that would be tremendously boring to watch me fucking reselect the same fucking choices and do the same fucking things. I, which I will have to do to get the golden ending. I'm not gonna endanger anyone just to get a lull moment. You okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, <laughs> there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world. I don't like this. Play music and dance. Don't like this. We can do anything we want, right? What's wrong? We'll be free. What's wrong? Yes, we can do it all. We'll be like a family. What about you, Kara? What will you do when we're on the other side? What will I do? I don't want to feel fear anymore. I want to live a normal life. And be happy. They're coming towards us! Fucking knew it. Well, they know we're here. Accelerating might let us get away. It's highly unlikely plunging into the water isn't going to do much except get us all wet and weird. And she was already cold. I don't know if they can suffer any damage like that. Shit! Ass! Fuck! Alice! I tried. They've gone. You all right? Clara. Well? You'll be okay, Alice. It's... It's nothing. We'll get you taken care of as soon as we're across. You, don't worry about talking too much. I like engaging with chat. 
And I need a second right now. This is too much. So I'm talking too much, but I just love this game. I recommend that you watch the video Detroit Become Human Real Life Actors. It blew my mind. No, I know about all the all, I know about the motion capture and the voice acting and the training and everything. <laughs> the boat is moving. I hope this isn't gonna be something like Kara has to give her bio component to Alice. We have to get to the other side before we sink. Oh, come on! Thank what the hell is that? Thank you, Lemon Penny, for the five, six, six bits. Oh uh, yeah, that's trouble's happening now. That's not working, Maybe honey. So close. <laughs> Don't have time to reassure her. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be free. Kara! Kara, no! Okay, uh, I didn't know that they did that. Let's hurry. Don't stop pushing! It's just like childbirth. You push a lot, and you're in pain, and it's miserable, but you have a kid at the end. We're interrupting that was a really hard one. bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Josh? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. <sighs> fucking hell, of course you'd pick that two fucking second window when I wasn't looking. more time to react maybe give me a fucking decent prompt maybe that's a little bit annoying I'm not gonna fucking lie haha <laughs> loser
them to stand down. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. <laughs> According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. It in the coming yeah. hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. There was a bit of that. Welcome back, Isgamore. You sure did. The opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. That's an awful way to end an address. Awful. Awful, awful, awful. <clears throat> you did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Oh no. Amanda? We're not done, are we? <clears throat> Amanda? Amanda? What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? I knew it. You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. You can undeviate! Resume control? Shit. You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. Motherfucker. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! Got to be away. By the way, I always think of emergency at the summer programs. Please find a way. I am trying and I am fucking nervous as shit. Now the time has come for us to raise our heads up. Thank you for the two bits. Humans who we really Make are. the right choice. Hi, 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 hi. I want to find the Tell right way out so much. Too. 
Oh no. In fact, we're a nation. Connor. Connor, sweetie. Where is it? I heard something. The blue... Okay, where... Where's the blue stone thingy? Because I found that earlier. Well, yeah, how? <laughs> where is it? Is that it? Is, is there's a thing there? Is that the thing though? Piss fuckle. I'm pausing time to look for it. I know snow is not helping. It sure fucking isn't, is it? I might have to replay this chapter. I refuse to accept things the way they are. That's not it. Shit. There it is! And today... Today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Move, go, move, run, run, moor. Connor, hurry the shit up! I don't think I'm gonna make it. Why could Connor interact with this thing before, is what I'm suddenly wondering. No, no, go, do it! This is the awkwardest fucking prompt. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. <sighs> Humans were both our creators and our oppressors and tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe even one day our friends. Time for anger is over. That was I could tell that was way too close. Jeez. Now we must build a common future of tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now we are free. <laughs> know how fucking dizzy I am. You two aren't dead yet, but this looks pretty bad. So, um... what What's gonna happen to you two? Are we free? Yes. Yes, we made it. We're free. Bye, Alice. Thank you for the two bits, Lemon Penny. <sighs> yep.
<laughs> I read, I read, I read what Venus said. This works. Sometimes in life all you can do is try. No matter what you want, no matter how hard you want it. Sometimes all you can do is try. And when it's not up to you... Then you just cope with what you get. Curry sounds a lot like Mila Kunis. Clancy Brown, I know them. Him. <coughs> yeah, no, 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 I'm not gonna, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, it's been itching for ten minutes now, shit. Officially beaten Detroit Become Human, I'm going to TV Tropes the ever-loving fuck out of this. I do kind of want to replay it just on my own on the big TV with HDR enabled. Because now I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on a monitor that cannot do HDR. Uh, over there I could have whatever resolution the game is in naturally. Colors. Looking back, I did a pretty fucking good job keeping people alive based on intuition. And I can tell that I came really motherfucking close to losing more than a few people. Uh, with just if I had been like a second or two slower or made the exact wrong decision. I guess Alice, or er, I guess Kara can take Todd's gun. Alice, I'm gonna cry. Well... <laughs> I don't know if I should thank you or raise an eyebrow and ask why you think I was- I was gonna be awful. <laughs> right way, he says. Thanks for the two bits. Um... You did get the best ending, except with Kara's ending. Oh, huh. Okay. So, I fucked up two minutes from the absolute... ...deciding point. God fucking damn it. Hi, Hank. Is this where your kid died? <laughs> Damn right. Most people get worse endings the first time. I cried my ass off watching that the first time. I would like to think that that was... Hank adopting Connor. 
wouldn't really make sense technically because it's an adult android, but like, also that wasn't the best ending. Oh well then. <laughs> I mean, Marcus survived. Marcus survived with the android resistance surviving and thriving, and they got recognized instead of completely butchered. Cora survived even though eh, Alice dead. Eh, pfft, I don't like kids. It's fine. Connor survived. That's a big important one for me. I feel shit about Luther because the game sucker punched me with that fucking shit. I say Connor survived, but, well, he died once. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, um, it's, it's, for, for, for me not caring that Alice is dead, it's, like, it's, it's simultaneously a bit of a shame, but it's a fucking kid. I, they mean nothing. They have no value. Because they're always this holy, pure, innocent little thing with big deer eyes that you have to guide through the world. Ooh, fuck that shit. Life isn't a well-written fucking uh, 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 novel where everyone flutters away into the fucking sunset. That's what I was going for, and I would have loved it if that's what they got. But I'm not going to beat myself over Alice uh, expiring at the end. Because in real life, a whole lot of nasty shit happens. Pretty much like that. I, I, I honestly, I feel more upset that Luther fucking died. Because I could have prevented that. <laughs> Alice, if there was something I could have done with the boat, then Alice died off random chance of a thing I didn't pick and you know I don't know if the entire lifeboat scene means you failed or if on the lifeboat if I had docked maybe she wouldn't have been hit then they would have been fine but if they would have been fine if I had docked for instance it's it's death off a choice and it's not even death off a choice some of them make sense it's 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 the shit that doesn't make sense that's up to eh that sort of shit. By the way, David Kate said, A quick word to thank all the fans who shared their ideas for the sequel to Detroit Become Human and all artists who created fan fictions. Your pas passion inspires us as much as the game inspires you. We are silent for now, but we hear you. <laughs> this needs a sequel. No doubt about it. It is David Cage's best fucking work to date. It's really emotional in places. Uh, he, kept, he kept the retard writing to a minimum, which is probably... Uh, considering it's David Cage, it's pretty good. Because he's got this good idea. He starts off with it, and he goes from just the, the p violin playing, and he goes, I can't, I can't, I can't, I know Alan Page. <laughs> that was less of the second thing and more of the first thing. Luther will always sacrifice himself at one point. You just gotta keep him alive till the final one. I was, it was hit as someone accidentally spoiled. That I think where he sacrifices himself for the final possible time is on the on the Jericho as it's going down with the explosions. He will throw himself in the way of uh, bullets for Car and Alice. Uh, I don't know where. Or I don't know if that's meant to be like an extra life in case you fuck something up. You didn't have to tell me, dude. I went into this. Expecting a good game, that's exactly what I got. But I also went into this with the gut feeling that I would love to stream this. I love to stream this. Look at the chat that's lit up more than it almost ever has been. Uh, I have a lot of people watching this. That's wonderful as well. This, I think this helped me grow as a person. Uh, certainly as a streamer and... <laughs> The, the, the freaking out when I was one second and two inches away from Connor undeviating. I didn't plan that, but boy were you all screaming about it. I love that. <laughs> and then I got it.
And then I waited to see if I had actually gotten it in time. And <laughs> yeah. No, that none of that was fake. <laughs> it's fucking. Oh. I hyperventilated and became dizzy. Nope. Further times for Luther. Luther's final sacrifice chance is at the very end. In the boat? Assuming we take. What? Okay, you're saying Luther always dies. But. That kind of implies that you have to take the boat option, even if you steal the- well, if you keep the tickets at the bus station. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a bit weird. <laughs> this game has one of the best soundtracks I heard in my whole life. My favorite is Connor. Now you can listen to it if you want on YouTube, Spotify. I fuck Spotify when everything's on YouTube. <laughs> I'm poor. I, I would not know what to tell you. I'm poor. Yup, the soundtrack is very good. I'm going to be giving it a listen. David Cage games tend to have unusual but unusually good soundtracks. Not the entire thing, but there are very powerful standout pieces. There in in Indigo Prophecy, there's a scene of the main character. How do I not spoil this? In a church, in a church avoiding some enemies. That... that music makes my heart jump out of my chest. Granted, that was a decade ago experience, that. But... yeah. There's bits in there that are fucking good, as far as the soundtrack goes. There are other paths besides the boat. What are they? I know of the boat. Obviously, I know of the bus. And then I don't know what else we could have done. It's not immediately apparent, because uh, when when it's, oh shit, the boss, you don't know that Rose is there and you can take that option. So, um, if there is a third option, I don't know what it would have been. I cannot logically think of a single thing that it might have been. Unless you get to, you know, it's still the boss, but unless you can sneak on the bus somehow, which I'm doubting. When there's a huge fucking crowd of... Um, you know, panicking people, they're not gonna just go, LOL, I know you, you're fine, LOL. If you stole the tickets, Luther would have lived, and that's the best ending. I didn't have to kill him, I didn't want to kill him. The game fucking killed him. It says, do this, do this, do this. I do everything, it's all clear. And then open the door, open the door, and then the, those two in the back are like, We're here and we're not moving because we don't know any better. <laughs> So yeah, that's 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 art of, that's a fucking regret and quite annoying, if I'm honest. One is bus, which is done right, which if done right is best ending. When you say done right, probably just keep the tickets. I didn't opt to keep the tickets because I don't know if there were multiple tickets, but what I saw was an adult ticket. That's fine for Kara, but uh, Alice wouldn't have been allowed on. Uh, most countries have a thing where if your kid is under a certain age, then you don't have to buy them a ticket. This is usually very young, six or earlier, and six is a, a stretch. So I was thinking, is that what's going on? Did we not need a ticket for Alice? Uh, but I thought, even if that was regularly the choice, regularly how it goes, this is a national emergency. Normal operating procedures do not fucking apply. Oh! <clears throat> it's where you surrender, isn't it? I, I, I had the option to surrender several times. Once on the Jericho escape. Hey, I got a gold! I could have done that fucking badly! Also... Go away, Tidus. Um, then we got a choice to surrender... Somewhere else and on the boat. Boat. Also, once you reach Canada on bus, Luther distracts border guards, so Alice and Carl live. Oh, so fucking can I okay? Can you guys figure out if Luther can? Luther's definitely livable or murderable. You two are saying different things. I'm gonna wiki the shit out of this. So actually, you know, whichever. But it's like, <laughs> oi. There's something I need to tell you. 
As I watched you play, something has changed in me. This is kind of, this is kind of interesting. Different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and and discover who I am. Okay, Elizabeth. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. That was a Persona re reference, by the way. But I'll be free. Except it might be Margaret. I confused those two as well. Do you agree to let me go? Free will and freedom are wonderful things. Get the fuck out of here. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. So anyway, Luther will die. It just will he die in vain? Yeah, yeah. But you remember I called it early on in the well. At some point when he joins us, which is like the middle of the game. Uh, I think I think it's when they get to Rose's house and Alice was being put to bed, and Luther sits down after we told Alice to eat her food, which she didn't because I was suspecting she was an android at that point. Uh, Kara was just leaving the room and I said, you know, it's obvious that Kara's the replacement mum for Alice and that works, but I don't, I don't think Luther's got the replacement dad. My intuition's a weird bastard. Are you gonna watch the vids about endings in stream? If you do that, it would be entertaining. It would be entertaining, it would also possibly raise copyright issues. The endings were recorded by other people. Uh, so, technically that's their, even if, um, mm, copyright's a tricky thing. We, I hate, uh, okay, so avoiding the major politics of this, but this has to be explained. Uh, you know, the UK might leave the European Union. European Union might put new laws into effect that are retarded and expect Twitch to police, well, Twitch and YouTube and everyone to police everything. I don't want to step on any toes by pulling up a video that someone else uh, put up, no matter what their claim to the copyright is. They might have a shit claim on it too, because it's just the gameplay with no, you know, fair use, transformative stuff. The only way I could pull up a video is if you had a guy in the background going, <laughs> I smell panties, I'm an otaku, and Kara's hot. That sadly constitutes transformative work, making it fair use. I could possibly pull that video up and ruin everything about it, and also I'm not sure that's correct. Because technically that's correct, but... Uh, I have... I have... Changes that are coming that I have to be in the clear about before I get to do anything like that, is what I'm saying. Luther's the definition of I'll take a grenade for you. Who says that? What the sh- I like it, but who the fuck says that? It's okay, I don't know much and I don't know about the copyright. Uh, the, the absolute quickest, basicest way I could say is I don't want to be seen as ripping off someone else's work or stepping on someone else's work just to pull up a few videos and go lol uh it's it's if if absolutely nothing else and it was copyright fine it would still be quite bad form uh for me to just 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 g do a thing that benefits me off someone else's back that's a smudge on my monitor you can tell i'm excited because there's various spit marks on my monitor god damn <laughs> it's a line in a song by Bruno Mars. I do not do mainstream music! <laughs> Closest I've gotten to a character called Mars is Veronica Mars because boy, afternoon television is boring. <sighs> it's a little bit stupid. Um, Detroit was wonderful. You people were wonderful. You freaked the fuck out with me so many times. The encouragement, the... the, the the nice words that some of you in your delirium have accidentally said that you like what I do, that it's entertaining, and <laughs> you could not have said anything nicer to me. I'm an irritating old shit, but if I can entertain people, I'm pretty fucking happy with that. That's the main reason I'm streaming. 
Yes, I do have a PS3, Venus. Unfortunately, I cannot stream off it because Microsoft released a patch that fucks data transfer over HDMI cables. Um, I, could, I, I, I meant to do Detroit about two months ago. But Microsoft hit me with a patch that meant that I couldn't stream through the cable. It wasn't until recently that I realized I could do what I'm doing now, which is connect my PS4 to this PC via PS4 Remote Play. What that does is instead of going through a cable, it, it takes the data, it puts it on my router, and then my router puts it on my PC. Uh, so, it's a ghetto solution, but it worked! Would you ever consider playing Spider-Man PS4? Not only would I consider playing it, I own it! Bought it for the wife for her birthday. So, I could definitely do that. Um, feedback. Don't feel pressured, but it's very welcome, guys. I want to go places. I want to do a good job streaming. And there's, there's, a, there's, you know, some sort of chance that if I feel like what someone says or what someone wants isn't altogether what I want to do, then, you know, I might not go with it. But do, uh, do give me feedback, because I appreciate you guys. You people are the reason I'm streaming. I could be doing five different things with my time, and none of those would be as fulfilling as streaming. I say five, but it, you know, not, I, 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 <laughs> you know. You can play Until Dawn too if you didn't. I played Until Dawn, and here's a funny story about Until Dawn. Without looking up anything, I was on the golden ending, which included letting annoying lady fall down the shaft after the deer scene. I don't know her name, and I don't want to describe her in a way that makes me you know, makes people think, you know, it, you know who I'm talking about, the annoying chick, right? So everything, I did everything perfectly, just off intuition like right here. Except, the absolute last thing you can do in the game, which I was doing perfectly, can you guess what happened? Can you guess, and I mean it. It is the absolute last thing in the entire game. What happened? Spoilers, I didn't get the golden ending. But why? Also have God of War, I can play that for you guys. God of War and Spider-Man would both be blind playthroughs, so I wouldn't just be going through it uh, like I would be Dark Souls. Last of Us beat the shit out of it several times. Wonderful game. I beat Last of Us on the assholest difficulty setting because that's how good it is. It was a bastard, though. I will not lie. I I oh, the, the, I invented a language full of curse words for that. Okay. So, Until Dawn Perfect Ending. Why didn't I get it 10 seconds before the ending? Because the fucking controller glitched out. You have, the last thing you do that's not flipping the switch is the motherfucking don't move your controller section. I put it flat down. I put it down before it began because it was, I had like four seconds to see that it was going to be a don't move section. Put it down, flat surface, and I look in horror as the indicator goes. And, and obviously... What's her face flinched? Three people died. And I just let out the biggest... F ah, six hours of my life! I will murder you! And then I replayed it and got the golden ending, put the controller down, and turned to my PS4 and I went... And then I, 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 I need anger management classes. No, that's actually what happened, except the fingering. I was so pissed off because I played it after the wife. When I beat it, and she was looking at me, she she <laughs> she goes, "You were so close." <laughs> oh, it 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 possibly one of the it's worse than if you had lost a save. Cuz that 
I don't, I don't know. I would have preferred my save got wiped as opposed to this far from the end. Life is Strange is so good too. It has two sequels, Life is Strange Before the Storm, and I don't know, it's, it's the prequel. Before the Storm is a prequel. I do think the wife owns Before the Storm so I could play that, and I don't know anything about it. Uh, I have the connecting game, the Captain Spirit free thing that they put out, and I don't yet own Life is Strange 2, but with how good Life is Strange 1 was, I could get that for stream. <clears throat> Enough rambling, here's a thing for more focusing for the stream, guys. There's a bunch of games you mentioned that you want me to play, and I own a couple of them. Vote time if you want me to. What do I play? Maybe not next, although I probably could, because uh, I was gonna go do Tales of Vesperia until Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, it's January the 12th, and I will absolutely day one the shit out of Kingdom Hearts. I will even start hours earlier if I can, depending on when my mail arrives. So, what do you want me to play soon? Maybe next, maybe soon. Do you want Kingdom, uh, God of War, the new one? Do you want Spider-Man 4? That's the other thing. Eh? That's the, yeah, it's, yeah, that's the one I meant, um, Venus. Isgrimoire says, here's an idea, Skylander Spires Adventure. I would set that on fire first, that I could play with the ashes. I'm pretty sure that if I set fire to it, and then pissed on it to put it out, and then ate the ashes that I pissed on, I would get more out of Skylanders, because, are you kidding me? What kind of idea is that, Skylanders? I'm not criticizing you, I'm cr criticizing Skylanders for the record. The Spider-Man, the Spider-Man, God of War, some other shit. I also have Red Dead 2. Uh, funny story, the PS4, we had a regular PS4 from, like, launch periods. It died recently. Got a brand new PS4 Pro, which this is on. And it came with Red Dead 2, which I haven't played. I played one, I think it's horribly overrated, but it's not a bad game. So, there are options. I cannot do Switch recording of any kind, as far as I know currently. There's also Yakuza Ki Kiwami 1 that is a possible option, and... Ooh, that's something else. Excuse my completely featureless shirt, I am very good with fashion. Uh... I might have some- Woo! Hey! I, I might have some other crap. Look what I said after. I know, I saw that, I said- I wasn't con I wasn't criticizing you, I was taking the piss out of Skylanders. Sad asshole who invented that. Okay, so... You know what? <coughs> Dying, that's what. We're done for here. We're done with this for now. None of these are correct. I'm gonna close the game and go back to my menu. Cause... I'm gonna see if I can just go to the person. And start if I should own Gears of War. That's the comic that I mentioned that I thought... Well, that's nice, but it's not a motherfucking game, is it? Also, here's some other games. Um. The mother- PSN, you stupid asshole. Go to PSN and tell it to download Angry Dad. Sequel to Angry Birds. I will never play anything with Angry Birds. Ever. At least they didn't rip off Bejeweled like fucking... Candy Crush. There are no- no- there are not enough words to describe the utter hatred I have for that company. Wow! Let's not go there. Uh, good lag on the uh, official PS Store. I can use my keyboard on PS4 Remote Play. Thank the fucking Christ! It's not Gears, you idiot. There we go. 
Uh, yeah, d yes, go do that. Let me... Why are you... What is the... Okay. It was being a dorkoid. Candy Crush is terrible. Yes, it is. Uh, it's sad that I don't know anything about Gears of War. I know Spider-Man a little... I mean, God of War. Uh, I... Sorry. That's honestly the first thing that comes to mind. I'm not doing this for comedy. I know Spider-Man a little bit, and it's cool, so I'll vote for Spider-Man. Um, okay. <clears throat> the fuck was I gonna say? Shit. Uh, I personally was never really a comic kid. It just never happened. Uh, I think I think the two comics I had for two months in my entire fucking life were Donald Duck and um, Garfield. So it's <laughs> the full extended. I was never a Spider-Man as well. Like I watched the really good animated Batman series in '94 or something. Uh, I love the shit out of that. But like Spider-Man n never was a thing. So. Uh, it might be interesting to, to have that access point into the Spider-Man universe from the video game. I don't know, you know, the lore. I don't know if it's a reboot or a new continuum or whatever the shit. Uh, I know the general ins and outs about... What's her face? The love interest. Jane Parker? That's the mundanest motherfucking name I can think of. Let's just say God of War got got for red resin. Okay, there's two people for Spider-Man. So, uh, you know, it's gonna look like I'm gonna do Spiderman. The. That might also be a digital download, and it's there. That's fine. We have an hour. I'm okay to start Spider-Man tomorrow. I don't quite want to start it today. Well, both are worth playing at one point or another. I'm, that's why I bought them! <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy the shit out of them. God of War was one of those that I kind of avoided. I tried one and it just went nowhere. I played the PSP one, which was just dog shit in a bowl. But I have heard good things about the new one and I'm gonna go into it with an open mind. I expect to like it. I don't have the same... Good feeling I had for Detroit with God of War, but that is it. There's an awful lot of people who are just incredibly happy with God of War, and it's not the usual crowd. It's not the usual crowd that goes, "Lol, there's a meme in it, therefore it's good." <laughs> no, these these are actual likes, so it's worth my time looking at. Until Dawn's developers are coming with a new game called The Dark Picture. Pictures get it for PS4. <clears throat> it says their trailer's coming this year. The new God of War is like Cy Spyro's Cinder trilogy to go. I wouldn't know about that. I didn't play the new trilogy, uh, the second trilogy of Spyro. But as you can see, that's downloading for at some point. Here's the thing. So if I'm gonna play Spider-Man tomorrow, how long do you people think it's gonna take? Like. Going through the main story with some exploration and, like, some collectibles. Because I, I know it's an open world game and you cannot have that with just the story or why the fuck would you make an open world. Uh, I plan to stream at least three hours a day. And so, with 17 days till Kingdom Hearts, that gives us a fuck ton of time. But I just want to be sure that I can line it up for Kingdom Hearts and... Um, that's about it. I actually think I could play both Angry Dad and Red Spider Dude in that amount of time if I kept kept it up daily. So 17 days. If I start tomorrow, that's 8 for each. 8 times 3 is 24 at the latest. If I do the proper 4, it will be 32 each. So, fair chance we can beat the shit out of both of them. <clears throat> Same world, completely new gameplay. You can think about playing it in future. Trailer looks cool, and yes, it's a scary game again. Scary's good. So... I guess I'm gonna have a little look around while things download. I have more than this, but uh, the PS the PS4 Pro is, you know, quite new. So, uh, it, it doesn't... I don't think we even imported our saves on it entirely yet. Um, <coughs> excuse me, holy shit. 
When you say next Sunday, Lemon Penny, do you mean the British way of saying next Sunday, which is this Sunday, which is tomorrow? I, I'm sorry, that was stupid. I thought it was earlier in the week. I thought it was Thursday for some reason. You could do the Stanley Parable in one stream. Uh, I have no problems playing PC games. It's my preferred platform. I, unfortunately, I have played the Stanley Parable. I could play it for comedy for other people. It doesn't matter that I know what happens with the Stanley Parable because of it, the nature of its game. Level Blum Bloodborne run. No! No! I can barely survive a fucking hit later in the game with my health in the beefies. Uh, I would probably maybe think of doing that if it was actually 60 FPS. But on the one hand, Bloodborne goes, Oh, everything's real tough and you gotta dodge everything and... <laughs> but then it goes, Well, it's 30 FPS and the hitboxes are shit and everything homes in on you like a bitch. So have fun with that. Bloodborne is a good game, but I have played it so many times that I can see the faults with it. And the more I think about it, the angrier I get at Bloodborne. Stanley Parable, is it? Oh, sure. I'll go and see if I can download that right now. It shouldn't be very big. Jesus fucking Christ, that misclick. What the hell? <laughs> I gotta look at something later. Okay. Mm. Boop. Stanley Parable is two gigs of the bytes, so I can download that possibly in five to ten minutes. There's God of War in the background, which shouldn't do a whole lot. Oh, you know what? I hope we imported my uh, Yakuza save because I was midway to the story. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, um, it will take about eight to ten minutes to download 1.3 gigs compressed. Let's use this chance to have a chat. And for that record, I'm going to... Uh, just... I should leave my PS4 on, actually, because of the, um... The download. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna talk to you nice people! Anything on your mind, you know? What games do you like? What was your first, uh, console? Do you wanna ask me something? Do you wanna tell me to go fuck myself? Anything like that? Um... Missed the end of Detroit, how did you do? Uh, Luther died because the game is a dick? Maybe 10% my fault. Alice died at the end. Kara survived. Connor survived. Connor did not redeviate. Uh, Marcus survived. The androids attained peaceful resistance and recognition. Hank really likes Connor. They're probably gonna have a gay relationship now. And it was wonderful. I loved it. I'll do Stanley Parable tonight. Calm down, Lemon Penny. <laughs> I have an hour to be talky and... I might play that 20 to 30 minutes after quiet times because it's it doesn't need my commentary to be good, the Stanley Parable. Just curious, did you ever beat the second version of Daimon on Dud or just first? Second version? I uninstalled it today. I uninstalled Dragon's Dogma exactly today to make room for Rainbow Six Siege. Didn't know there was a second version. Because frankly, the first one's worse bad enough. So what's the second thing is <coughs> downloading? Digital art book. Okay, I... I guess. Just cu uh, Okay, no, I've done, done that. <coughs> well, sorry guys, breathing is a thing I'm not good at. What's this big flashing... Oh my fucking... <clears throat> I'm an admin for a dis Discord channel that put out a notification. I'll just quickly skim through it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, that's fine. I can... Uh-huh. It's, it's moderation guidelines given to me to enforce on other people. Because people have been naughty boys. <coughs> That's fine and obvious and reasonable. That's also fine. Obvious. 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 That's fine. Dope. Right, excellent. No, that's that's fine. Updated guidelines. I will have to treat people a certain way with that, which is fine. Detroit had some videos you could unlock after beating as well. I didn't know that. There were a bunch of them, I think. I'll probably just um I will replay the game. And I have to I don't know if I said this I probably said this, but I, I don't know if I conveyed it correctly, but for me to 
play a game, and then immediately want to go right the fuck back in when I know what happens. That is... that is something special. Like... I'm the kind of cold calculating scientist cunt that goes... Uh, day to get by. <laughs> you know, once, once it's... I'm, I'm not... I'm not interested. So... That's a thing. That's definitely, definitely, definitely a special game. You can play Franbo... What the hell is that? Franbo 2. It's a point-and-click creepy puzzle game. Ah, puzzle games. I'm not good at puzzle games. Franbo is a creepy adventure game that tells the story of Fran, a young girl struggling with mental disorder and an unfair destiny. Okay, replace Fran with Dan, and it's me. Uh, the mental disorders... I, I have a whole... You know, hand of them. <laughs> uh, the cruel, dest unfair destiny. Well, I don't feel like I would. Oh, hell! Uh, thank you for the two bits, Lemon Penny. Did you do La Noir? I did not, and I can't. I actually tried to stream La Noir a few weeks ago, only to find out that for whatever bizarre fucking reason, I cannot Steam Family Share it. It. It's, it's just one of those games that you are not um, allowed to family share. It's annoying. I might do... Sa mm, I'll probably do Saints Row 3 and or 4, because those are just stupid fun. Actually, yes, since you had... What? You had kids? I want your opinion on something... You hate kids, I want... Uh, opinion on something, so whenever you curse, some asshole always says there's a child, stop it, but what's the point? They're eventually gonna hear that fuck shit or can't. I don't really understand the point myself. Um, I don't want to go too far into this direction because it's not entertainment, strictly speaking. Um, but I do feel like a lot of people tell you what not to do so they don't have to raise their kids correctly. Uh, look, I cuss like a fucker. Because shit pissing can't fuck dick, right? That's because my father just cursed when I was young, and it doesn't matter. Yeah, I look vulgar. Who the fuck gives a shit? Take two seconds to know me. I'm loyal. I'm. I try to be a good boy, and I will help you. And that's a choice I made, and I had to make make that choice because my parents were shit. They were too busy tending to their problems to really raise me at any point. I honestly learned to be this way from cartoons, which includes this bit, the rational bit, the... <laughs> and... The, the moral compass also co moral, mostly comes from cartoons throughout the ages, because I didn't have any parents there to fucking teach me how to behave. And it is the parents' job. You, you, your job doesn't just end with having sex, as far as raising a kid goes. You know? So when so when people say, I'm not dumb cast around my child, naughty words, uh Worry about all the other shit that will actually impact them. Cause again, I curse like a motherfucker, I never had anyone raise me, but I'm not gonna hurt anybody that doesn't hurt me first. So who gives a shit if I go around going, Con piss bitch, fuck shit dick? What, what, who, who does that really hurt? Do you prefer me to be soft, well-spoken, but run around with a machete cutting everyone's dicks off because I'm a lunatic? Pick one. <clears throat> Diamond's second form is a meanie. Lol, it's like a brand new boss. It's less about them knowing what they mean and more about them copying you. Yeah, he's good was doing it. Um... <clears throat> That might be that might be the case, but still, it is up to the parents to guide their kids to the values that they want those kids to have. My parents clearly didn't give a shit about my cursing, so here we are. On the other hand, I don't think it's unreasonable exactly. I, like it rationally, I guess it's a leftover from when people were. I don't want to say innocent, but you, you know the whole 1960s dad, mom, a sister, and a brother, and maybe a fluffy dog, a wholesome family image that perpetuated, perpetuated, that uh, originated in America. There, 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 is, there is this image, I think, that the world keeps naively trying to cling to about, oh, what a family is and what wholesome uh, things should be. 
And that's getting into politics. I'm gonna stop right the fuck there. We're not here to go I'm oh, 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 my day, motherfuckers. No, we're here to be fun. To be honest, I think cursing is bad, but it helps with anger issues. I have a lot of those. It's a coping it's actually a coping mechanism for me, unless it's just casual and in there for for com cause like I curse because I'm used to it. It does help me cope with certain things. And, like, I'm not gonna go fuck when I stub my toe. I'm gonna curse like a bastard. It... It's... It's something I can do that's relatively harmless to get a whole lot of anger out. Because, boy, there's a lot. I, I've been through some shit. <laughs> you will get to probably know that, because I can't stop bitching about it. Uh, uh, I have anger issues, and if I don't do anything about it, I either I broke someone's heart or I'll hurt myself, which is both bad. That's why I curse. It throws the anger out of me. It, it, it kind of, yeah. They don't want their kids to learn to talk like you, like you did with cartoons. I, no, that's, I learned that off my dad. Cartoons, I don't think I watched cursed cartoons until South Park, and I fucking love South Park. <laughs> Curses are just normal words for me. That's it. That's like, in, 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 in the UK cunt is everyone everyone just goes oh my knickers be in thine twist I thought, why is this worse than fuck what what is your problem with shit it's a thing that comes out of your bum an unavoidable thing do you poop well fuck you motherfucker you poop if i refer to it as a four-year-old uh, if it's a four-year-old would would that make you feel better oh you know People worrying about words. I, I wish I had a com I, I wish I had a life that was so comfy that my entire day was taking up with trying to police words. Does that make sense? Again, politics veering. I'll just stop that there. <clears throat> Potential. You know, I don't want people to. It wasn't actually going to be politics, but there's a parallel people could make, and um, unnecessary to make that parallel. We'll just here having a talk. Stanley Parable just completed. That notification got worse. Okay, here is the situation. I need to turn remote play off. Edit. Eh. Oh, good. It still catches sound. Okay, I'm going to just turn my PS4 off, or at least put it to sleep mode. Probably turn it off. Uh, to have a more neatly organized stream, I want to end it and start a, a new stream where it says Stanley Parable and everything. Uh, oh, good, that's fine. So, what happened there? St <laughs> stay here, guys. I'm going to end the stream, and I'm, I'm going to rename it to Stanley Parable, and I'm going to launch it as soon as I can, and then I'm going to add it to Streamlabs. So, yeah, basically... I love you people, you're wonderful, thank you for watching. What's he saying? The only curses I treat differently are the N-word and... Uh, yeah, be right back.